Well, howdy diddly dandy there, people. It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm getting slightly excited, people, about um, my trip to the Philippines in April. We're going to go see Ivy's mum and dad predominantly, and I'm going to be meeting their family for the first time, but we're going to what's called the province inside of um, the Philippines. So it's away from the city centres. It's right out in the rural districts. I mean, we are going to spend two days in BGC when we first arrive, or at least one night and a day. So, yeah, when we arrive, we're going to a hotel in BGC, and then we're going to go do a bit of exploring, basically. Anyways, and that is the centre. That's that last, last Manila. It's beautiful there, BGC. I'll, I'll find a video in a moment for BGC. But anyway, let me jump on over and show you where we're going to see Ivy's parents. So here we go. Let's go. Reaction cam. Boom. There we go, people. I'm over on Tinterwebs. Now, where Ivy's family are is in a place called Nova Asea. So I'm going to hit on up some of the best places to go visit. Now, this is just a picture slideshow. I'm going to mute the actual music and just talk over it, to be honest, people. There we go. There's top 10 places to go. And a lot of these look freaking majestically beautiful. I don't think we're going to that one. It's not on our itinerary, which is probably a good thing. Because me and mountains, we just don't get on. <laughs> I get knackered going up three flights of stairs. Okay, right. So I believe we're probably going to be passing this. The Gapan Church. I think this is on our hit list. I think this is that. Heck yes, it does look pretty darn epic in there, doesn't it? And Ivy's family are quite spiritual, quite religious. I mean, Ivy's dad is actually a priest and got his own church. Yeah. Oh, Aloha Falls, I think we might be passing there. Go into what's called the Millennium Tree. I, I wonder if it's on this list. But there's like a mythical creature that lives in the Millennium Tree called a Capre. And yes, he, he sits in the tree and he smokes tobacco, mainly at night time. Yeah, it's quite. He's, he's not a. Um, it, it's a bit folklore -y. A dipping river. Yeah, I think we're going there as well. I think actually my, my stepson, Lexbar, I think he cut his foot in this river once not to have hospital treatment. <laughs> I think. Not 100% sure. It was a river near them. I, um, I don't think we go into the lake. I don't think we go into that lake, but it does look beautiful, doesn't it? That really does. There is like a resort inside of a river that's got all these sort of rafts and huts and stuff where you can buy food and things. I think we might be going to that. We're not going to the dam either. <laughs> I hope not, anyway. Oh, that's a lovely beverage. A cup of tea, people. Yorkshire tea, Yorkshire tea bags. Sometimes I have Tetley, sometimes I have PG. But right now we're on Yorkshire. I have had Red Bush, which is quite nice. Crystal Wave, we're not going there. I don't think that's on the itinerary. We are going to a resort of sorts. So there'll be something like that in our actual excursion, people, in the view of us. Another falls. Oh, that, that's, uh, there's a couple, is there? We're going to one. We're going to one waterfall. I don't know which one. That one looks smaller than the other one, doesn't it? But I suppose it's the one that's closest and easy to access and probably not got the least amount of tourists. So, yeah. Hey, look at that. There's actual faces inside of the rice. That's really clever. How did they do that? That's so cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't know whether we're going there, but I know that Ivy's mum and dad have got their own farm. And at the moment, they're planting out, like, onions and things. That's the place I was on about, with all the rafts and the huts and things. I'm hoping we're going there, but it depends, because seasonal, it depends just how busy it's going to be. But hopefully we're going to go to something like that. So there we go, Nova Ecea, that's where we're going, which is pretty darn cool, isn't it? Now, the nearest city to where Ayuvi is, is a place called Kabla Tuan City. And you can see here, it's not all that modernised, but there are some modern sort of you know, shops and restaurants and places like that. There's also an SM mall, but I'll just show you a bit of the street scene here, so you can get an idea of what the street is and things like that. I mean, it's got it's got all this Greco sort of Greek type influence. The Philippines has been invaded by so many countries like you know Spain and China and England. <laughs> And now it's got inspiration from all of those. And the US had air bases there as well, so there's a lot of American influence. You're going to notice that all these, all the street signs, like to rent and all that sort of stuff that you're seeing in these streets, is all in English. Yeah. So they actually speak what's called Tagalog out there. And you know the Ewoks inside of Star Wars, they actually talk a little bit of Tagalog too. 
<laughs> yeah, strange, isn't it? Look, like the exit sign there. Vertical clearance. It's all in English. English is like their second language out there. So they're very fluent in English. And, you know, the this, this beauty of this place is like Thailand. So it's got so much going for it for a foreigner from England or from the US because you get all the beauty of Thailand in a roundabout way and you get all the convenience of it being in your language, <laughs> which is lovely, which is cool. But there we go, people. That gives you a bit of an insight of what the Philippines looks like inside of a local city out in the province. It's it's not all that um, modernised, but saying that there is the SM Mall, which I'll show you the SM Mall. I mean, look at all these electric wires <laughs> just streamed across here. Hopefully there's never going to be a solar freaking storm because that would just all fry, wouldn't it? Yeah, but then again, I don't know whether they can put them under the roads because the roads must get so hot out there with the tarmac. Who knows? Anyways, let's um, let's uh, skip that one for a second. This is SM City Mall, which is actually inside of Kabla Tuan. So there are modern places inside of Kabla Tuan like this, which is just a massive great big mall where a lot of people will go for indoor and outdoor. Well, it's, it's got outdoor mezzanines and things here, people. But again, all the signs are in English, which is brilliant. And it's, it's really nice, really modern. I mean, we'd be hard pushed to find things like this over here in the UK. I mean, we have got malls, but to this size, I don't know. I mean, yes, maybe over in Birmingham. I know that they've got quite a large one and in Oxford, but where I am, no, we haven't got anything as smart and as lovely as that. That looks freaking great in there, doesn't it, people? It really does. That looks so modern and i'm seeing quite a lot of stores inside of here i mean i've already watched part of this video they've actually got a marks and spencers out there really really surprised to see stuff like that just popping up and appearing you know the stores that we've got here in the uk appearing straight out there inside of the philippines pretty darn freaking epic and cool anyhow so yeah that gives you a bit of an idea so there are modernized areas now i did say that we was going to be landing inside of um uh, BGC, well, Manila, and we're going to be going around BGC, Philippines. So here we go, let's, uh, let's go. Yeah, let's do that one. As you can see, people, I no longer have adverts. I've got Premier! A premium, there it is, up there. But yeah, you know what, I can just hover over these, couldn't I, really? I mean, you get the general gist. It's a very modern city, is Manila. Now, a lot of people are a little bit... Sh Ooh! Excuse me, shocked when they go to actual you know, Manila for the first time in the Philippines. They expect it to be a third world country. However, it's, it's been a massively, massively overhauled. I mean, it's beautiful. It looks like freaking New York, just like these people are saying here. And it's beautiful, beautiful place. And these guys are actually from the UK and, and they're actually really good to watch. Here you go, I'll play a bit of their video. In Manila, we literally just passed through BGC. Many of you in the comment section said that we have to go to BGC High Street, check out one of the main shopping malls, and also something that I'm interested in is the coffee scene here. Today, my darlings, we're going to explore the luxury side of... BGC! I love this side of Manila. It's so cute! I really like these guys' videos. They're just so high energy and they're a lovely couple, always smiling, so nice to everybody that they meet and everybody that they meet is so nice to them. It's just feel good vibes. You know what? I put a link to their video inside of this video description. So if you want to check them out, you can. I mean, they've traveled to other places, not just the Philippines. If you hit up their channel here, there you go. Here we uh, are I'll guys. subscribe We're to them because I watched a couple of their videos now. You, and they've, they've all been pretty darn good. But if I hit onto videos, you'll see that they've been all over places too now you always put flags in the top left hand corner so you can see where they're going and, and whatever so you know there might be a country there that appeals to you but it's the people that appeal to me they're an awesome couple so there we go people that's their channel love load shuffler what the field of visions there we are peeps right anyway another thing that um ivy wants me to try <laughs> when i'm in the philippines i mean look at this guy's face he does not want to try this does he it's called balut it's duck egg that's still got the fetus inside. Yeah, yeah, and they eat it. There's a delicacy out there. You know what? Here you go. I'm going to put the sound on, and we're going to watch this guy try a duck egg fetus. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's make this nice and big. Let's just check the quality is actually, is really up, like, quality as high as it can be, and let's hit play. All right, here we go. I don't know the best way. I think you break it. How do I eat balut? How just like... So remove thy skin. Okay. Then eat. 
Drink the soup. Drink the soup. Then eat. Oh. Next, next. Final one, guys. And then you suck out the soup. Oh, that's good. Balloon is just that. It's a duck embryo, hard boiled and served warm. It's one of the most popular street foods in the Philippines. Really, the best way to eat this is if you could just not see it, because it looks deplorable. It does not look oh. appetizing. It really does, mate. No. Oh. And it kind of looks like I'm brains. Try this. I'm, I'm... I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. You know, that'll make oh, it better. Okay. Anytime I eat a duck fetus, I just think you need a little bit of salt. Oh, and there it is. How many balut can you eat? Uh, four pieces. Four pieces, uh, and then you're full. Yeah. Oh, he's going for it. He's freaking going for it. Mm. The whole thing. He likes it. Okay. Oh, that is good. What? Mm -hmm. More vinegar. I agree. I agree. There are feathers here. Feathers. Feathers. Oh. One more. What is like a good what? food when you're drinking? Like you're drinking beer. What kind of street food is good? Red bit. Red. Red horse. I'm not saying it, but no. What's that? Why not? Crack it open. Pop the Red top, horse beer out there. Gotta try that. He seems to be liking these things. Mm. The soup is pretty good. Yes, What's your favorite uh, street food? Street foods? Yes. Balut. Oh, so people like it. Wow. Is he gonna sell okay. it what it tastes so, like? There you can kind of see like the body of the duck. Oh. I think that's like uh the body. Woo. The flavor, good. The visual, terrible. Yeah. It looks bad. It tastes it tastes pretty good though. I can see definitely how people would eat a bunch of these for, for snacks, for protein. It's a great protein source. Next time you make deviled eggs, try making it with these. Would be oh, a big Christmas rather hit. Rather you than me, mate. If you think like I'm eating a chunky duck soup, it's not so bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more. <laughs> he went for that madman. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, that's probably gonna be me. Um in April, eating a, a duck egg fetus. Um, I can't say I'm looking forward to that bit of my tri trip, to be honest, people in the view of us. But yeah, if that appeals to you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and all that sort of shenanigans, and I'll see you in April doing that. Um, yeah, not my cup of tea. In fact, talking of cup of tea, it's freaking gone, mate. I've drunk it. There's just tea leaves left now. Yeah, I need to go get myself a fresh brew, I think, people in the view of us, after watching that. But there we go. So, a lot of nice-looking places. I think I'm going to get some amazing photos and build some amazing memories while I'm out in the Philippines. And I'm thoroughly looking forward to meeting all of Ivy's family. And, uh, yeah, just seeing what Filipino culture is like and the Philippines as a whole. Seeing where Ivy grew up as a child. And also the provinces of the Philippines, the real Philippines but also taking in the modern sites of BGC. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully all of that excites you people. I know I'm excited, but you know, I'm the one going on a freaking journey. Got a few videos coming up soon about the luggage choices that we've gone for and why we've gone for them and things like that. Um, yeah, it, it's been an interesting sort of thing. We actually read that people can break into your luggage just using a biro if you use one of the ones with zips on. Scary stuff. So we're trying to find luggage that hasn't got zips on, that is fully secure. Now we've got a couple that we've been looking at, the S Secure by Samsonite being one of the top ones. But it's bloody expensive. If you guys have got a suggestion of where we can find really secure but decent luggage bags, please let us know in the comments. That'd be very helpful. I've searched everywhere and all the ones I'm finding are like 300 freaking quid. <laughs> <laughs> spending out 300 quid per bag you know and we need two of them that's 600 pounds that's 600 pounds that we won't be taking to the philippines so yeah if you can help us out that'll be um i'll be greatly appreciated anyway salute mondo because we're going off on a tangent now about bloody bags <laughs> i just had a tea bag in that cup though so i suppose it's it's all right isn't it anyway the whole point of these videos is put a smile on your face in the mornings hopefully um 
That hasn't made you skip your breakfast, though. That that was a bit... Yeah. Sorry. But apparently, tastes great, doesn't look great. There we are. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.